presentations today we see very important problem in real analysis for all the competitive exams uh, you can see many problems in CSIR gate NBHM uh, regarding problems regarding this particular function this function is called the Thomas function okay this is an example of a function from R to R which is continuous only at irrationals and discontinuous at all the rational points okay so we're going to prove that the function f from r to r defined by f of x equal to 0 if x not belongs to q it means that at the irrational points the function takes the value 0 and at the rational points if the rational number is p by q in the reduced form then the image is 1 by q okay reduced to form means uh, if it is 2 by 4 you have to reduce it to 1 by 2 okay so that numerator and denominator have greatest common divisor 1 okay so this is my our function we claim that this function is continuous on irrational numbers and it is continuous at all the rational numbers so first let's prove that this function is discontinuous at all the rational numbers so let's a belongs to q okay so a is a irrational number so a can be written as p by q and f of a will be 1 by q okay now let x and b and c sequence of irrational numbers converging to a note that irrational numbers also dense in real number therefore you can find the irrational sequence converges to any real number okay therefore you can find the irrational sequence converges converges to this rational number a now since x and are irrational number f of x n equal to 0 for all n because f of x equal to 0 for all irrationals therefore this sequence f of x n uh, given by f of x1 uh, sorry f of uh, maybe f of x1 f of x2 etc etc this sequence is equal to zero sequence because all the points are zero okay therefore the sequence f of xn converges to zero okay if f is continuous at this point a whenever xn tends to a f of xn should converges to f of a but f of a is 1 by q okay but f of xn converges to 0 and 0 is not equal to 1 by q okay because 1 by q can never be equal to 0 therefore the function is not continuous at the point a so we proved that this function is not continuous at any rational numbers we have to prove that it is continuous at all the irrationals that is the little trickier part but it is very interesting let's see why so we claim that this function is continuous at the irrational number a so i take irrational a so we take let epsilon greater than 0 be given so we have to find a delta greater than 0 such that uh, f of b of a comma delta okay delta contained in b of f of a comma epsilon so this is an equivalent definition of continuous function uh, given epsilon greater than 0 there exists delta greater than exists such that mod x minus a less than delta implies mod f of a minus f of x less than epsilon that 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 definition is exactly the same this definition if you know the definition of what is open bar okay so please check in any real analysis book you can see this definition of continuous function so we're going to use this definition okay so given a epsilon we need a delta satisfying that condition so let epsilon greater than zero be given so we can uh, choose a natural number n such that 1 by n less than epsilon okay because the 1 by n sequence is converges to 0 so whatever your epsilon since 1 by n sequence is converges to 0 you can find some n such that 1 by n will be uh, less than epsilon okay this is just due to the fact that 1 by n sequence converges to 0 or because of Archimedean property uh, either way it is fine now like uh, we climb okay so now we got 1 by n we we got a n satisfying this condition now we claim that there exist finitely many rational numbers p by q in a minus delta comma a plus delta such that the denominator of this number is less than n okay that is what we are claiming this is for any delta okay so you take uh, given epsilon you need to find one delta but we are taking some arbitrary delta first and we are looking at the interval open a minus delta comma a plus delta okay 
Okay, so I hope the claim is clear. So whatever is your delta, we claim that in this interval there will be lot of rational numbers. But if you look at the rational numbers whose denominator is less than n, this number denominator is less than n, there will be only finitely many such p by q in this interval for any delta that is what we are claiming. Okay, okay. So, uh, so we want the denominator to be less than or equal to less than or equal to n. Okay, that means that uh, so I just put uh, uh, I take some number n naught less than or equal to n and I look at the fraction p by n naught. Okay, instead of q I substitute the n naught and so this uh, p by n naught suppose this belongs to a minus delta comma a plus delta. That means that a minus delta strictly less than p p by n naught strictly less than a plus delta okay now this means that if you multiply this uh, uh, this inequality by n naught throughout you get n naught times a minus delta strictly less than p less than n naught times a plus delta okay therefore this fraction okay so note that given a epsilon greater than 0 this n we have we have chosen n such that 1 by n less than epsilon so this n is now some fixed number okay fixed natural number and given that n this n naught less than or equal to n this n naught is also a fixed number this n naught can be 1 to up to n naught so there are finitely many choices sorry uh, 1 to etc n this n naught can be one of this number okay so yeah there are only finitely many choices for n naught now this for one fixed n naught we want to understand when p by n naught belongs to this open interval a minus delta comma a plus delta so p by n now only variable is p because we are we have fixed n naught okay so for fixed n naught this p by n naught belongs to open interval a minus delta comma open interval a plus delta if p belongs to this interval open interval n naught times a minus delta comma n naught times a plus delta okay note that this is a finite interval because these things are finite numbers so in a finite interval there will be only finitely many integers okay therefore there are finitely many integers p lies in between these two real numbers because these two numbers are finite numbers therefore there exists finitely many rationals in this interval a minus delta comma a plus delta whose denominator is equal to n naught okay so for each n naught less than or equal to n once you fix that n naught there are only finitely many choices for numerator because the numerator has to satisfy this inequality therefore we conclude that there exists finitely many rationals in a minus delta comma a plus delta whose denominator is equal to n naught okay but this is true for each n naught okay but uh, number of n naught is finite as i said earlier n naught can be one of this number so for this n naught there will be finitely many rational numbers for this n naught finitely many rational numbers uh, so there will be uh, finitely many rational numbers whose denominator is 1 there will be finitely many rational numbers whose denominator is 2 there will be finitely many rational numbers whose denominator is n that is what we have proved because whatever is n naught less than or equal to n we have proved that the number of rational numbers whose denominator is n naught is finite okay therefore there are in total for each uh, for each 1 to n for each of them there are finitely many choices but these numbers finite numbers so finite in a finite set is finite so we we get there exist finitely many rationals in a minus delta comma a plus delta whose denominator is less than n okay denominator is less than n means that denominator has to be one of this number one to n okay and for each of this number we have finitely many rational numbers whose denominator is this number okay therefore uh, in the whole we get there are finitely many rationals whose denominator is less than n okay okay that is a very important thing now choose delta 1 greater than 0 such that a minus delta 1 comma a plus delta 1 satisfying the this condition what is the condition every rationals in this interval has denominator greater than n 
why it is possible so first we look at the interval a minus delta comma a plus delta whatever del you take any arbitrary delta in this interval if you look at uh, geometrically if you look at this interval this is a okay this is a minus delta this is a plus delta now here there are finitely many rational numbers whose denominator is less than or equal to n now what you can do since there are only finitely many of them so you take the so from this point a you look at the distance between each of the rational numbers suppose r1 r2 etc rk these are the rational numbers here in op in this interval whose denominator is less than or equal to n then i define delta 1 to be 1 by 2 times minimum of distance between a to all these points okay so from a to all these points i am looking at the distance and i take the minimum then i divide by 2 okay if i look at this neighborhood b uh, 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 a minus delta 1 comma a plus delta 1 this interval will not contain any of these rational numbers okay because this number of such points is finite so we can uh, choose a delta 1 such that this neighborhood does not contain any of these points okay so first you take arbitrary delta from that we are constructing a delta 1 which this delta 1 is the our required delta 1 to prove continuity okay so let's see how why this delta 1 is useful so now for this delta 1 okay we claim that the continuity condition is satisfied that f of b of a comma delta 1 is subset of b of f of a comma epsilon uh, maybe a, a given epsilon greater than 0 there exists delta greater than 0 such that mod x minus a less than delta implies mod f of x minus f of a less than epsilon this is the definition of continuous function this means that this mod x minus a less than delta means that uh, this point x lies in the delta neighborhood of the point a and this condition means that the images of this point f of any points here lies in the uh, epsilon neighborhood of the point f of a okay so basically this condition is same as the definition of continuous functions now given this we claim that uh, this condition is satisfied for our delta 1 okay so let x belongs to b of a comma delta 1 okay so this is the comma we claim that uh, if, if you take a point here and if you apply f that image point f of x will be a point here that is what we are claiming so if you take a x belongs to this interval there are two cases okay uh, x can be irrational or x can be rational so note that this f of a is equal to this interval is equal to b of 0 comma epsilon this is equal to minus epsilon comma epsilon because we are trying to prove the continuity at the irrational point for ir so a is irrational so f of a is 0 okay so now since x is irrational f of x is 0 f of x clearly belongs to minus epsilon comma epsilon right therefore for irrational uh, x this in this condition is satisfied suppose x is rational okay then x equal to p by q with the denominator is greater than or equal to n okay because we are looking at the uh, b of a comma delta 1 we have chosen delta 1 such that every point in this neighborhood every rational in this neighborhood has denominator greater than or equal to n because we have removed all the rationals whose denominator is less than or equal to n okay therefore f of x equal to 1 by q and now q greater than or equal to n implies 1 by q less than 1 by n therefore this f of x equal to 1 by q is less than 1 by n <coughs> But we have chosen 1 by n in the beginning such a way that 1 by n less than epsilon, right? Therefore, we get uh, maybe here you can put less than epsilon, doesn't matter. So, we get f of x less than epsilon. That means that f of x less than epsilon means f of x belongs to minus epsilon comma epsilon, okay? Therefore, in both the cases, x is irrational or rational in both the cases, image belongs to this interval. Therefore, f is continuous at the point A okay it is a very important uh, interview question also so please go through it once again if you have some doubts please uh, comment below i am very happy to answer your question okay 
okay guys so if you learn something new from this video please click the like button and share with your friends also subscribe to my channel thank you